today in the chat. Tell me how you're feeling. It's, it's a new day. New episode of Microwave Beats with Sarah the Instrumentalist. And this episode is sponsored by Distro Kid. Make sure that you get your discount for your first year membership. Distrokid.com slash VIP. Slash Sarah too ill to get 7% off your first year. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here a little early. It's Friday. 9.55 a.m. in Los Angeles. I hope everyone's doing good. I'm feeling good. Literally last night, I'm um, thinking about this making beats with the, the SP since the new update. Shout out to the BIC for giving us an amazing live stream yesterday, showing us how to use Koala with the new update. Um, before we get into making beats, um, gotta share with you guys. First of all, thank you for listening to um, Microwave Beats. It came out March 25th. It's April 5th. Um, and on Spotify, it's reached over 50,000 streams already. Um, but I want to share with you guys how that happened. So if you're here early, you get some gems. Um, so basically, all of that's independent. But what I did was I did something called like a waterfall release. It's basically where you release um, singles before the album. And then you can take those singles and when you add it to the album, those streams will add to the album streams. So I had released um, maybe two, three drops and each drop had two singles so that's six songs that were out before the album came out so they already had um streams but the cool part about distro kid as an independent artist if you get the upc um of the track you could add it to an album and then remove the single later on so i had removed um yeah um hello everybody um i had um released six singles before um they're not here anymore i removed them they're archived but those six singles are now in the microwave beat so um if you take the upc of the single which you get when you hit this when you go to your music here on the screen um let's pretend like i don't know this song tribeca it's a song that i want to place on an album I would just go to the the song here on my distro kid, get the UPC, and first of all, you want to have all your your numbers um, in a in a spreadsheet. So, highly recommend getting just like a number spreadsheet, putting your, you know, the artist name when it was recorded, what samples are used, um, and then put the information like the UPC, um, any um, you know, performance rights organization information in that spreadsheet so let's say if i have this single and i want to put it on an album i just go to the song get the upc and um, when i release the album i'll go up here to upload music and it'll ask me if this song has been pre-released already so you can upload that upc and once the album is out you can then delete the single from your distro kid but it will show up the streams will still show up on your on your uh, album. So that's how I'm able to lick on my Spotify and it says 50,000 streams on my, my microwave beat so far. But most of those streams didn't happen in the last week or two. They happened within the last year because like I said, I released six of those songs that are on the, the beat tape. They were already out. So if you wanna do that, you can, you know what I'm saying? So just letting you, let you guys know go to distro kid and uh, make sure you just hold on to the information and it 
make sure that it connects those dots for you so we got detroit in the house we got shout outs to don c appreciate you i hope you get the chance to listen to microwave beats the link is tagged um that's the the, the band camp link uh which is actually for me i don't know we'll see we'll see how it does like this is my first time really releasing like consistent music independently um but yeah, there's a link in the description for DistroKid for your discount. For if you if you haven't released any music, you should release your beats. There's so many opportunities that come when you just release stuff. Let it go. Don't worry about the numbers. Just honestly, just let it go, right? Um, the first beat tape I released, I ended up getting signed to Epidemic Sound. So, and I didn't really have many people listening to me at that time. And it was like the beginnings of people making lo-fi hip-hop. So just do your thing, release music, use the link uh, to get a discount. And then if you want to listen to micro Microwave Beats, the link is in the, um, the description as well. Very easy to upload music as an independent artist. I also have new music coming out next week. I have two new tracks, um, one called Keep Pushing and um, Free. These are two songs that I got placed on the NFL uh, through sync licensing. So these are my own songs. So they're going to be released. They're already being, they're already out there on TV and the documentary and stuff. But uh, as an independent artist, I have the choice to just release it as myself. And, you know, I think it's cool. You know, we got uh, shout outs where you're at right now. I need you on to tell me in the comments what, what's your go-to breakfast meal see i'm in la and in la uh, breakfast burritos are a big thing so um i i just made one myself and i'll tell you i'll share with you what i what i put in it i want you to share with me what you ate today or what's your go-to breakfast meal what's your go-to sandwich is it a biscuit is it a boat so what's is it at the bodega is it bojangles what is it back in my day it used to be bojangles but i can't eat any of that anymore i'm a vegan but i had made like an impo i got impossible sausage i chopped it up put it on a little burrito some mo vegan mozzarella I put some tater tots on it i put some lettuce some some ranch some vegan ranch some salsa um some pico de gallo, everything in, in LA. Every meal has a pico de gallo in it. Um, and I, I make this custom made cheese sauce that I dip my tater tots in. So, what, what are y'all eating in London? What's going on in London? BMX 7. What's for breakfast? What are y'all eating out there? I need to know before I travel. <laughs> I need to know. Um, we got Detroit in the house. Thank you for listening to my beats. BMX 7. We got Philly in the house. Don C. What's going on in Philly? What y'all eating for breakfast? Philly. Is there a Philly breakfast burrito? Um, I had an epic Cali bacon and chicken from Del Taco. This one. That sounds mom. I miss eating bacon. Honestly, I go live. But I, I can't go back to it. Once you, once you, once you, you know. Uh oh. Yeah, once you, uh, once you stop, it's hard to go back. For me, at least. I like feeling good. Looking good, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah. Today, uh, I got some inspiration. Let me go this, this route. I got some inspiration from DBIC from yesterday. He did an amazing live stream. Um, just showcasing the Koala app and the SP. And, you know, I haven't really used the Koala app. I'm not an iOS user, but I get I get it now after he showed a lot of stuff. Especially showing, he showed us how to side chain. He showed us um, like how he's arranging the samples in here. He's got his drums in here. And then um, you can loop, because there's loop capture now, you can um, sample into the SP, like what you're arranging into here. And then, you know, 
you can add tones the sound generator and then make a sequencer and then we can export the stems now um it's it's pretty dope so i've been thinking about that but even in my sleep i'm like okay i got this sp no i got this i got this asr 10 over here i want to really try to get that pitch or that tone take that sample and then put it in the koala see if i can do some i didn't this is my first time i don't know first time so what do you do you guys have the sp like have y'all seen the update have you gotten the update did you download it uh, what's going on what's going on oh, God. um i have bacon and egg toast with some coffee that sounds that's pretty solid i used to eat stuff like that <laughs> it's pretty good toast with a little bit of jam you know i don't drink coffee i have my um my golden milk which is like turmeric ginger um ashwagandha shilajit some herbs you know you know golf port ms in the house what up golf port what up what you eat for breakfast edward or what's your go-to like what's your go-to breakfast sandwich is it a burrito is it a biscuit is it um is it an actual like bun on a like brioche bun is it on a croissant a little croissant baby a little croissant um beef bacon eggs and cheese on wheat okay that sounds good okay darcy okay from philly okay okay uh appreciate the uh the peace and blessings uh reg regmon music appreciate you koala while on the move yes I, I get this set up now, so I'm excited to try it out. I'm gonna, um, yeah, tumor every day. Tumor every day. I'm pretty healthy. I don't drink alcohol. I don't eat animal products. The only thing I eat animal products is probably honey. Um, just ate dinner. What you eat for dinner? Where are you? Tell me where you're at. What time is it? Right now we're in LA. It's nine or it's ten. It's ten o'clock. So. Yeah, so it's still kind of breakfast time, you know what I'm saying? Brunch, brunch is big out here in LA, so. All right, so I want to go to the ASR 10 real quick and see if I could sample into the computer and then sample back into the um into this device here. But let me plug that. I plug it up and end up making something else. Okay. Something I was making last night. Let me let me just listen to it. No, nah, I don't want to listen. I mean, I can't do it. All right. All right. This is me trying to get familiar with it. Let me just play it. Plug this and go to a different project. There we go. Now I want to. Uh, I'm gonna save this project. All right, so uh, all right, so let me see what you eat now. What you eat now? Um, me too. I don't drink. I don't like the taste neither. I don't get it. I don't get the alcohol. It's nasty. 
It's nasty. Nothing about it's good. Uh, I'm in the Netherlands. It's seven. What are y'all eating in the Netherlands? Put in the comments. I want to know. I want to know what you're eating. I mean, what you, what's going on over there? Okay, so I'm going to go over to the ASR 10 real quick. Grab my phone. And let me actually go to Ableton. I want to Ableton and make sure I can hear everything. I'm going to do a bunch of walking. So get, bear with me. Bear with me. Put my back camera on.
time. One more time. We're going to stand for one more time. Oh, okay, here we go. I don't know if y'all heard all of that. Did y'all hear all of that? Was it was it tasty? Did you hear? Did you hear the '90s in there? Let me stop my recording. All right. So, um, yeah. Um, you know, got Denver, Colorado in here. Mm -hmm. Got the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Got a uh, Chicago in the house. What's good, Sarah? In the chat. What's up, Kyle? What's up? How you doing? Um, Charlie from uh, Chicago land. I see you. Uh, what's up, A Major Keys? What's going on? Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Um, so yeah, basically, I just the AS this ASR ten is probably older than all of us. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but uh. I will take what it can give. So I just went through some samples. I resampled it on the um on I recorded everything on the the this here Ableton. Everything is so sideways. So I got to put utility on it, and which is cool. I like that about Ableton utility, which is allowing me to. You know, put the where am I going? Too many things on here. It allows me to pan the audio. <laughs> Even it out. And as you can hear, it was very choppy. It stopped. I have to like pull up the volume, put it down, but it the ASR ten is gonna give you a unique sound that is not you're not gonna get anywhere else. So, um, so I'm gonna duplicate these. Go 
towards the last one real quick. Making sure the connection looks all right. I don't know if it's okay. Okay. I'm going to continue. popping this is just my idea i'm gonna see if it does work though so So I'm just going to just, we're going to have faith. We'll have some faith. I'm going to just export it real quick. So I can clean this up for myself. We don't need them pops, girl. get surgical with this. I just want to take that and it's not much, but at least getting my idea out just to see if it works. I'm going to export it. I'll just put it on the desktop. I'll just test with the test ASR 10. And then what I can do is drop it in. my folder for my ipad and see if it'll can pull on koala
Um, what's up, Dan? How you doing today? Happy cooking. Happy Friday. Um, waiting for this to populate here. If not, one thing I'm just impatient for the cloud. Four megabytes left. Hurry up. In the meantime, what are you guys? Jake one uses the ASR ten and his main centerpiece. Yes. Shouts to Jake one. Shouts to Timberland. Shout outs to uh Kanye for showing us the amazing SR ten. Um yeah, it's it's definitely one of the best samplers. It just is as you can hear it the input is just janky, but when you finally put the sample through the um through and then you can pitch it. The pitch is not none other. There's no pitch. Like, I'm not going to get that pitch on the Koala. I'm not going to get the pitch on the the AS, the SP um, or on the computer. So that's why I went through the um, the ASR 10 first. So we got this here. Let me see. Yes, I took the, the clips out. All right. I'm going to load it. I'm going to load it, and then I'm going to go to the sample, hit edit. Come over here to tools, go to um, So weird, doesn't have the option to chop it up anymore. Hold on. Where'd it go? So confused. And close out of it, start fresh then. Awkward. Mercury's in micro braid. Start fresh. Ah, uh, technology. I want to hear what that sounds like. <laughs> Try something else. Yeah, the fact that you can um that you can do stems on here too is crazy. Um, but that's not what I want to do. so confused I thought I should be able to go and have an option to um auto chop am I tripping am I tripping or am I tripping it's not here
Does anyone use Koala? <laughs> when I hit this button and I hit tools, am I supposed to have like an auto chop option here? Where is it? Hmm. I need to try Koala. How do you like it? I'm trying to like it, Charles. Charlene. I'm trying to like it. <laughs> uh, let me. Let me just make sure everything's up to date. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong, Charlie? <laughs> um, hit edit. I could have sworn I had a. I could have sworn I had an option. It's under tools. It isn't. Look. <laughs> am I tripping or am I tripping? Label, crop, normalize, trim, split stems, make mono, bounce, export. Tools is under edit, sample page. Yeah. Am I tripping? Draybone1986. It was there last night. It was there last night. Let's try again. You have to buy the option to, to chop it. <laughs> Okay, I don't mind doing that. Hold on, let me buy it then. Why didn't you say it, huh? Settings. I don't mind buying it. I thought I already bought it. Um. So if I go to the uh here, I'm just gonna hit buy. It's three ninety nine. I think we got three ninety nine, you know. We got three we got we got three ninety nine. It's cool. We got it. We cool. It's cool. We got it. We got it. We're gonna we just gonna move forward. Okay, yeah, we're gonna there we go. Okay. That's crazy because it was there last night. <laughs> it was like you got one you got twenty four hours to Okay, cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much everybody for the patience and the and the and the the showing me. I really I like to I like being inspired but also Ain't got to know everything, you know, so it's like, ask for help. So, appreciate y'all. Uh, All right, now that we can, we can go hit edit. Okay, I got edit. Now I got the uh, the auto chop option. All right, so, uh, do lazy. Okay. <laughs>
Oh. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. Let me do something real quick. Let's do it. It's coming. It's coming. screen exactly we're 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 cavemen cave women we like we like tangible things um i'm just trying out the workflow so let's see i got this pattern this drum pattern already here on a different page let's see if it'll loop. oh yeah one thing oh yeah I'm gonna hit edit and hold down on all the pads and go to the This change too overnight, huh? Where's the mixer section now? <laughs> now that I have that samurai section, the mixer section's gone. <laughs> so, um. I'm confused now. You know how like I have all these samples here. I know the sample part. I get that. Oh, stop. Yep. Why does it say EQ now, not mixer? When I go to my sample here, shouldn't I have an option to choose what bus it goes through? I get that. But mixer is underperformed the top. And then on the page, mixer is the bottom corner. Lucy, get up. Get from under me. You start acting weird when you're under me. You start growling. Like, this is mine. She's mine. Um, so I have the sample before when I would hit edit. Did she just steal something? <laughs> Lucy, come here. Oh my gosh, hold on. Lucy, <laughs> why are you harassing me? Um, so when I go to the sample, I should be able to choose which bus that it goes through. Top, 
top side of sample. Oh. Let's see. Leave me alone. I am making beats. No. There's someone outside my door. They're just, they're fixing the hallway, hun. They're just doing their job. They're so cute, though. Okay. Mix it on the side of sample. It says EQ for me for some moment. Let me show y'all. Dog is pissing me off. Merc Mercury is going to be in micro braids. I'm still going to get through it. So I got the sample here, right? Before, I was, was able to choose the bus. Where is that at? Now it says enable, enable, reset, EQ. That's cool. That's great. Cute. Mm-hmm. Am I tripping? Lucy, leave it. Come here. Um, am I tripping? Like, where is it? If you want, I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. <laughs> no! <laughs> right on the sample, there's a mix button on the side of the screen. Add one. Yeah, I had the trial before. I just got the samurai situation. So, if I go... Uh, don't. I don't see it anymore, y'all. Let's do it this way. <laughs> I'm just trying to get uh to bust my sample through to um the bus. Like get the buses. Like if I go here, go to mixer. Oh, now I wanna. It wants me to. Okay, now I gotta buy that. Hold on. <laughs> How many things do we buy, Koala? I got five. I got four ninety nine too. It's okay. Hold on. Kuna Matata. Hold on. That's crazy, y'all. It's getting, oops, it's getting me. <laughs> DBS, you better get a percentage of this. <laughs> then another add on to mix. I don't remember what it's called, but that's crazy. That's wow. That's wow, Koala. You just, you just got $10 from me. <laughs> now I got, okay. Okay. Now we can make beats. They, they, I'm gonna have some feedback. Okay, now I see it. Now, okay, now I see it. Now we're, we're here. Okay, now when I hit it, hold edit, I could get all these samples. I love that you guys have already done this because it helps me so much. So I choose bus B. I'm gonna bus B. I'm gonna choose a side chain. I'm gonna get the source to be mic. So if I press. Hold down a little bit and I'll come back here.
What's your favorite effect on here? There's a lot of them. I'm feeling this. So if I go over here to sequence, I could just go here, pick two bars. I like it because you could see it versus like the, the pattern select section. I mean, I'm going to get into it anyways, but at least I could see it. Um, so if I... Looking better, looking better. No, it's it's going in and out. Five, five seconds. You know, I got an anxious dog next to me. The Wi-Fi goes in and out. Mercury's in retrograde. I want to still make my beats. Your bed. Go. Come on, come on, let's go.
that just came had a, i'm glad you're getting physical y'all make sure y'all take care of yourself hope everything went well in your physical um make sure you go you guys go to the dentist get your teeth clean you know i'm almost done finding this in line it should be in my mouth right now i'm about to eat my burrito so you know physical therapy <laughs> were you getting a prostate exam that's what i really want to know we can get a prostate exam and um the earthquake happened i know you were like what the hell what's going on pissed off talking about what you doing bringing the earthquake to new york i didn't go i didn't bring that we're used to earthquakes we sleep in earthquakes we'd be like and i'd be like i don't know if that was a car if that was my neighbors or if that was an earthquake i'll check in the morning <laughs>
couldn't believe they got me with the ten dollars today that was crazy it was like yesterday everything was working everything was fine i didn't know it was a trial and then they were like you're gonna go on live today huh you're gonna pay for that <laughs> all right i see you koala Took some royalty-free samples, soulful. Um, I believe they're from the sample lab. I fed them through to the the ASR10. The ASR10 has a unique, you know, the the high pitch chipmunk Kanye West Jake One sound going on, right? So I, because the ASR is so funky, I had to sample it to the to Ableton. Um, I took the audio, I had to put utilities on it to balance the signal because it was really like only coming through one side and it was clipping so I kind of edited it in Ableton, exported it into the cloud on my iCloud. Now because Roland came out with one of the best updates, excuse me, the best updates ever and DBIC put us on yesterday, he had a dope live stream in before I was just like, nah, I'm not using, I'm not using this. So this is Koala. This is the iOS app on your iPad or your iPhone. Um, a lot of people have been using it. I've been literally avoiding it. <laughs> but when the goat shows you how dope it is, it's like, oh my god! It's, I think the biggest thing that got, got my attention was the side chaining part because people are like, how do you side chain the SP? I don't think you really can. Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe there's techniques to get, like, maybe, a, uh, I don't know. I don't know that technique yet. 
but he was showing us how to do it with the um the koala app basically you could sequence your sample so that's why i loaded the asr sample onto here chopped it up they have this auto chops feature and then you have the the mixing feature where you could route your samples to a bus and then get that like pumping feeling going on so I got the Koala app. The source is going, the source is the mic, which is the SP404. And then I got it plugged up via USB-C to the SP404. So now with the new update, you could now control the um, Koala app with the SP. So I chopped it up here, but I'm like controlling the chops here. Um, the sequence is here on the iPad, but the cool part is now, because there's a new update, I can go over to the loop, the loop, the looper mode. There's a looper mode where you can loop, and it's, it could be exactly whatever bars you want. So this bar, this is a sequence of four bars, right? So I'm just going to stop it. I'll stop my loop. And by the way, um, Koala controls the... Uh, banks A through D, D, so you don't want to have any samples on there. Yeah, get out of here. So that's my samples. So I'm um, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna go to Bank G, and I'm going to select. Um, first, I'm gonna go to Shift, then hit this encoder knob to make sure I'm in Looper mode. So I am in Looper mode. So I'm gonna hit Mark. And then I have the option to choose the measurement. So I'm going to choose four bars. And then the B choose BPM. I have it on auto trigger. So as soon as I hit record and I press play on here, it'll start. Go. Oh Lord, my sequence just went away. What did I do? Um, let me get out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay, here it is. So I've got my sequence here. I'm going to go back to Mark. And then now I have the ability to record. So I'm just going to hit record. I'm going to record this loop. on the SP, I'm going to hit copy and then add it to MD pad. right here. Alright, so now I have that loop from th this over here now on the SP, so I can... So yeah, if I wanted to like create a pattern sequence here on the SP, I could do that. Um, and then I can now export the stems onto my DAW now because all this goes to the new update. So it's pretty dope. So, um, but yeah, that's what this is. This is the Koala app. So what I'm 
gonna do is do it again for I'm gonna clear out this mantle. Hit record. I got both both loops here now. If I wanted to go to pattern select and make a pattern, I can make different variations of this loop. this is so important is because on the sp before you didn't have any preset measures which means you you literally had to just make a um you had to get the metronome you have to make a pattern and then you had to hit as soon as you stop recording or stop the loop you had to hit record as soon as you're done to hopefully to hopefully get it exactly a, a good loop and then you'll Plus playing and you hit loop and it's a little bit too cut off or it's too long or you know like this is perfect this is it was missing a few items and now it's like oh here here are some more things that we can do to actually finish beats on the sp404 so like what i'm thinking is like because i have this i made this pattern this drum pattern from from this hi-hat so that could be a variation <laughs> Pattern select, hit record, boom, boom, boom. For an example, we'll do four bars. Record. Dun, dun, dun.
Okay. Wrapping my head around this workflow here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the ASR10 sounds delicious, but sounds buzzy. Um, but it's giving it's giving we're back. We're back um in the Rockabella days or something. Rocka. Um Good afternoon, Bobcat the Legend. Appreciate you coming through. Um, so is that like making a pause tape? A pause tape? Hmm. I guess. What's up, Dojo? Cool. Of cool. Appreciate you coming through. Doing like a quick overview of this amazing SP404 update with the koala. Never in my life have I used it before today. So it's my, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for DBIC coming through yesterday with a live stream um, on his channel. Make sure I subscribe to his channel. And uh, he's always dropping gems. Showed us how to side chain, how to, how to basically arrange a beat in here, which is dope. So definitely, I'm not really a mobile like beat maker because I like making beats at home, but I'm enjoying this because obviously the iPad gives you so much flexibility. You can sample from the internet, you can do cloud droppings <laughs> and have access to more sounds. Um, and then it's kind of like having the NPC because it's a touch, a touch screen with physical, tangible, making beat stuff. And then you get all the effects. There's more effects now in the new um, update, which is crazy. Con congratulations to us. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, trying to, I think my biggest thing is really trying to understand my ASR 10 and how I can get the best audio from it. This is, this is decent. So, you know, so I'll go back out of here. See what I got. So I'm gonna go back to this joint here. Rev, how are you doing today? Happy Friday, buddy. So I listened to Mark Way beats from start to finish three times. 22 beats in 35 minutes is genius. Thank you so much, Craig. Appreciate you listening to Mark Way beats and supporting. Also getting the vinyl. Always, I see the, I see the names. So I appreciate you guys coming through and coming through and showing love.
What's up, Ken Trail? Kent, Kent Kine Ariel. I recently got my SP404 because I wanted to get on that sampling game, but the legal side of sampling seems so. LOL, do you have any advice on how you can find things? Hell yeah. See, over here, I like to, I like money. Money likes me. We love money. We love earning money. We like, we don't like to limit ourselves. We don't want to take someone's, we don't want to take Aretha Franklin's album and then just be like, yeah, let's take it and uh, let's risk the money. No. We, Unless you can go, uh, so this is what you're gonna do. I, I need you to not limit yourself. If you're a beginner, if you're all dudes, all if, if you're a beginner, if you're a music producer that's just starting off, you got a small following. S sample, get into it, take it. No one knows. No one. No one's listening. No one's listening. No one knows. You know that that meme on TikTok no one knows they sure don't <laughs> um but there's gonna be a point where you take your hobby and you take it serious as a music producer if you're you're serious you want to make money you want to get sync licenses you want to get you know placements and you don't and you want to get, get the coins you want the you want the you want the upfront money and you want the residuals and you don't want to give it out to anybody else unless you really want to so there's a few tips, a few pointers. Um, you can clear samples, okay? There's, there are sampling clearance agencies. Um, there's specifically one, let me just look it up. I will tell you right now. There it is. D DMGclearance.com. DMGclearance.com is, is the agency that can help clear samples for you. Additionally, you okay? Let me get. Let me get. Let me take a step back. In the sampling game. Um, if you're sampling, which means you're taking the master recording of someone's song. You can go directly to the record label or the person that owns the master and ask them for permission. And then that's one way. Um, if you are recreating the master, which means you're not sampling the original recording, but you're recreating it like what Kanye West potentially was doing, like, you know, all falls down, Lauren, Lauren Hill. You just need permission from the person that wrote the song, the composer, which could be easier because you don't have to go through the record label. Um, that being said, let's get into other stuff like realistic stuff. So if for me personally, as a music producer, when I release microwave beats, I didn't want to sample from vinyl. I wanted to do it by using royalty free samples that I have the license to use as an independent artist. They they have, for an example, you can go to the, the Sample Lab, you can go to Cymatics, you can go to, um, was it, uh, Polyphonic Music Library. There's a bunch of music libraries that exist, right? They have terms and conditions or license agreement when you download their sample pack. If you go to noquantize.com, it's the same thing. So if you get a drum pack, you get a sample pack, you want to open it up and read the agreement. Some sample packs are dirty. My version of dirty is like they want to get, they want, I don't know. Let me take a step back. I'm going to say they're dirty, but they got different rules. So read the license agreement. Some of them will say if you're independent, you can release this on Bandcamp, streaming services, as long as you got you purchased the license like which means you downloaded it and you have a license to use it if you are a major record label artist you have to get clearance and through and they give you information on how to clear those samples so it has it in the each sample pack 
Um, so read the description of things that you purchase or download or buy. Make sure you have the license for it. Um, one of the best ways that just literally, I don't, I don't know anyone that's talked about this. I've heard it in the streets though. And it's real. If you go to tracklib.com, you could sign up for like $14 or $15 a month. And you get like a certain, a certain amount of downloads per month. But you can, that's unlimited clearance. You don't have to clear the sample. You don't have to pay a licensing fee. That's it. The, the, the $15 a month, that's it. Once you use the sample, you can then go get it cleared through TrackLib. And it's a, it's a very easy process. You just pay that one, that that monthly fee. You have access to the whole TrackLib catalog, which actually has Polyphonic and a bunch of other cool uh, sample pack libraries already there. Um, you can go to TrackLib right now. They have different tiers. Read the tiers. But the middle one and the last, the biggest one, you can get 100% clearance on the sam on the whole sample library on TrackLib. So yes, TrackLib is just, they just stepped it up. Um, so if you are okay with paying a monthly subscription, that's where I would go. I, I wouldn't recommend Splice because everyone's using Splice and let's... <coughs> <coughs> Splice over here and got making me cough. But only if it's like one shots. Um, but their loops are oversaturated, which means a lot of people use them. And then they put them on YouTube claiming that they own it. And then they put little YouTube content ID on stuff that's royalty free and you're not supposed to do that. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. You can literally clear your own samples. That's why I don't like to assume that people haven't cleared their samples. There are artists or beat makers that are releasing, they are big, they're like, they're huge. And they're releasing projects like beat tapes that have vinyl on it. And they are, they're probably at the level where they are clearing the samples. Like how couldn't they, right? And if you are making money, you should be clearing samples. You should be paying other artists. You shouldn't be taking other artists' stuff without permission. Um, it is extremely... It's just not good energy when you take other people's stuff. Um, if you're just starting off and you're just having fun, you know. But if you're like... You end up becoming like Mac Miller. What happened was he he released, he released kids. Um, and he was just doing his thing. You know, he, he blew up. And because he was making a lot of money from that beat tape on tour lord finesse came through with the sue and wanted to sue him but because mac was cool they they figured it out now kids is on streaming services so they were able to clear it um properly afterwards but um but yeah just do what you gotta do but know that if you get popular if you do decide to take someone's stuff you may have to pay you may have to you may lose some stuff so you may want to just take the time to do research on like um, licensing and making sure that you have the license to use sounds or just make your own. Um, I'm really like one thing that I really want to get into, like these samples here. I love it. I love it. I'm here for it. Um, these sample these sample libraries are really good at recreating a certain sound or an error and with just kind of going through my thoughts with me having an ASR 10 um, knowing how to compose my own songs um this is what you can do too. You can compose your own songs, like your make your own sample packs, like pull up the Rhodes VST, put, get some percussion sounds, some real drums, um, pull up a um, choir app or hire people to sing for you and make a, a composition. And then for me, I'm going to take the composition and put it in the ASR 10 and automatically that turns it into like its own unique sound pack that. Kanye West or somebody would use back in the day and make my own sounds, make my own records from that. So like 
but I learned from the college dropout is a lot of those songs were recreated. A lot of the songs he couldn't get clear, so he had someone else take the songs. Like he, the songs were already chopped up in the the, the MPC, but he, because he couldn't get it cleared, he was like, "We're still going to release this music, but we're going to have to recreate it to match it." the feeling and the vibe of what I already created. And we won't need to clear it through the label, but we'll need to clear it through whoever the composer is or the writer is of the original composition. Cause it's called a um, interpolation, I guess at this point. Um, yeah. So yeah, Tracklib. Tracklib is probably the best option for you. And it's got a lot of good uh, samples. That's where I'm going to probably go next for beat tape stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's really dope. They, they they made it really affordable that you can clear everything. Oh my God. Um, my biggest thing is like finding the right samples because it's, I don't know. I'm still into crate digging. It's just hard for me to go online and just search through a web browser and be like, oh, this is, oh, I guess this is it. Or I do like curated sound packs that have like um, a vibe that can kind of get, get me into a thing. So I like that they they have sections or collections. So keep doing that track lib, keep updating that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's probably my answer for you to, yeah, so. There's a bunch of sample, uh, the best expansion packs, Native Instruments has the dopest expansion pack. There's a link in my bio for that. Um, Roland has some good, they have some sample packs, but I wouldn't say they're my favorite. They do have some good VSTs. Like the Roland Cloud Suite is dope. Like it's legit. <laughs> I go through that stuff and I'm like, oh, this is exactly what I need. I know it's got everything. Um, um, what other stuff that's pretty dope that's slept on? I mean, a lot of people use, uh, you know, output like arcade. That that seems to be updated all the time. Um, Ableton just came out with some like because of the Live Twelve. They have sample packs, y'all. Like, and I sleep on it too because I keep telling them like. Their setup is so neurotypical. It's just too many words. And there's, we need pictures. We need like a picture of like a boom bap person. It's like, oh, this is the golden era hip hop drum pack. I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, I'll download that. But um, everything is just so much. It's so wordy. So it's not like it's not giving. And you don't you don't really know until you actually like sit there and download all their stuff. So but um, yeah. Yeah, shout outs to sampling and getting into sampling. I had a lot of fun creating this this beat or trying to wrap my head around um, this ASR-10 going into the, to my Koala and then controlling it with my SP. This is a new workflow for me, but it's cool. I'm enjoying it, you know, so let's see.
Argus. So, Argus Audio Cults. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, those specific samples you got right now are not from vinyl, but the sample pack that in, emulates the sound of vinyl sounds. Exactly. 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 That's exactly what we're doing. Um, it's like practice with the vinyl have fun i i love the tangible aspect i think everyone should know everyone should have a vinyl player everyone should learn how to sample like every in every way i even just got a cassette play L listen i got so much going on but i have i like showing up for these live streams every week i have a lot of videos that i've already created or they're in the middle of being created and one of the next ideas that i have is i have a cassette player and i bought some cassettes um and i'm gonna sample from that and i know these are songs that i probably will never ever be able to use because these are i if some of the samples or the cassettes are from a different country i can't even read the language like it's japanese one's like fully japanese and one's like african japanese but but i can only imagine what i'm gonna get from it because like what i'm gonna do is feed the samples like the cassette player through the asr 10 and then yeah either do it through here or the npc um i'm really liking this because i'm wrapping my head around it because when they come out with these updates sometimes it's like uh, an update but it's like nah they are really listening and they're really making sure that the the workflow is a lot better so damn i may make a whole beat tape on the sp like this may be the next thing but use asr sounds like Cause I really want my my samples to have that that soulful. The reason why I like making music, I love like making. I love listening to Kanye back in the day, Jay Dilla, or any like soulful like J Just Blaze. You know, where are they at? Where like Kanye? What's out there doing weird stuff? Who who knows where Just Blaze is? But well, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm gonna <laughs> make it. But I can make, you know what I'm saying? But do it like in a way where like we can make money. So like all the music that I release with F, um with uh, not Epidemic, but with Microwave Beats, that's it's all royalty free samples. But I get all of the money because of it's royalty free. I don't have to clear it or split a, a percentage with an artist. Um, and it's also like. Knowing what happened with Kanye West really like got me thinking. Like he's so he he would he wouldn't care. Like he would do this. He would go back there, go get a vinyl, right? Chop it up on the ASR ten or NPC, right? And make the whole beats. And then he would give it to the label and the label would be like, We can't clear this. And then he's like, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take the same thing. And I'm going to get this guy, this white man named, named Kyle. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe I think this is his name. Um, but seriously, it's this guy that, that would take Kanye West's chopped up records and have to re-record every element. Like get the choir, you know, re-reverse, re-engineer re the actual sample. And then what you would hear on college dropout would sound like it was a sample but a lot of the stuff was original but interpolated because after he chopped it up so just kind of just thinking of it in that way like what if you took an aretha franklin song you did chop it up you make a whole song but then you take the sample and you recreate it yourself to make it sound exactly the same so when you pull it up people don't even know they're just like is that? But then you'd be like, nah, that's me. That's my vocals. And then when you master that, not only will you be able to make your own original soulful music, you can make sound packs. You could like, so we're not, we don't have, we could start off with the source. But to hear, like, listen to College Dropout and like pull up some interviews from it because the guy talks about how like, yo, that's not samples. That's me. Like, that's me. Like I had to remake the whole thing because we couldn't clear the sample. But it's just genius to be like, we're not gonna like not release the song, <laughs> but just make a different version of it. And then I had to figure out like, is this considered a cover? 
So I had to head up DistroKid. I was like, because they release covers. You can release covers through DistroKid, but covers have to be exactly the original song, like a recreation of the original song. It can't be um, a remix or I don't know. It's kind of, it's getting, it gets icky, but I like, so what I can do that's similar to what I'm talking about is make covers. So like I can take, this is actually a plan. I keep saying this. I'm going to take this, this Spice Girls album right here, right here. Got the, uh, the sheets, the sheet music, right? There's um this app um through Avid um where you could take the the composition right copy it and it turns into MIDI notes. So let me tell you. Okay, let me tell you. How it okay. Take the the sheet music, copy it into this program, and it and it allows you to convert into MIDI notes. So you could. Then put a VS, pull up a VST, and then I have like the melody of the Spice Girls, and I could turn it into a lo-fi beat. And then DistroKid will get the license for me to release the cover of a Spice Girl song, but it's a lo-fi version of it. That's 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 the thing too. So if you have DistroKid. Or if you want to start making music, you want to make a lo-fi version of literally this, like, like the actual composition. You could do that. Of course, the uh, the artist, original artist, will probably get most of your royalties, but you can legally release sync like uh, covers. So yeah. Also, I use MP. Hold on, read these comments. Um, I just need to find a good choir. Sounds like a good gospel boom back feel. So there's apps, there's VSTs that are choirs. Um, Native Instruments just dropped a free one with Jacob Collar. Coll he recorded actual like people singing at his concerts and turned it into a free VST. Um, East West has a background singers app that I, I've been using that got me a sync license placement with the NFL. They needed a soulful Afrocentric beat. That song, those, those songs come out next week. Um, called Keep Pushing and Free. But the, the one with the vocals, I don't have a choir. I'm not gonna, and with these sync licensing, they, they need the beat. They need the song tomorrow. They're like, we need the song tomorrow. I don't have time to hit up. 12 choir people and rehearse and stuff so the app allows you to you know play out oohs and ahs and stuff but you can actually type in phrases and as you're playing the keys the choir sings those phrases for you if you look up like how i made lucy's trail um on youtube there's a video of me using it. So, yeah. We make we have our own choir at the crib. At the at the crib. We making money, baby. We 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 love the inspiration of grabbing some vinyl back there, but we want to figure out how to make our own. Like cuz you have to really think about it. It really wasn't that complicated. There was probably a drummer, a singer, some singers, uh, like really think about what was recorded back then. They didn't have digital stuff. It really was a room full of people recording stuff. It actually may tell you the instruments on the album. So let's figure out how to make our own stuff or get sources of people that are taking the time to do this, like the sample lab or polyphonic music, uh, even no quantize with the melodic mirage sound pack that... Uh, Gregory David did. He spent a lot of time using like vintage um, roads, vintage um, guitars, tape players, these things that they used to use a lot back in the day. And a lot of people don't have it here in their home. So um, recreating that sound is it's out there. So definitely would recommend checking that that sound pack, sound pack out if you're looking for some like soulful like luscious guitar loops and like roads and stuff like that 
um is this recorded <laughs> it's recording um keep doing what you do love the vibes and now thank you bravo appreciate the love appreciate you coming through I use the NPC Live 2. How much? How do you like it for sampling? NPC Live 2 is dope. I intend to make a course on it as well. Probably pretty soon. <laughs> I need to go ahead and knock that out. Um, but uh, I like it a lot. It's pretty, probably the most solid beat machine out next to the SP now. SP just that, that, that. The SP is, you know, both both of them are perfect, honestly just depends on what you want and what your workflow is so um kevin oh ken lewis yes i almost i said kyle um ken lewis is the genius behind uh a lot of kanye west recreations shout out to dojo of cool shouting that out if you look up ken lewis on youtube he has videos explaining how he recreated or made college dropout and I'm super impressed. So I'm really wrapping my head around that concept and then getting clearance from the put like the the composition or the, the original songwriter of songs that you may recreate in doing it the proper way. Um uh Justin said that I'm out here trying try not to say try, Justin. Your vocabulary. Just I want you to just pretend that universe or god or whoever you whatever it's got a microphone in your throat and everything you say gets magnified and heard tenfold so um anytime you say something like that like trying or maybe or it's it's it is what it is i am is the most important thing you could say i am doing it i i get to do it or you know just be kind and have some grace for yourself but no more trying or no. Mm -mm. Um, higher violin players. Yeah, I mean, even with the um the sync license thing, they needed like like strings. You just have to know your 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 collection of sounds. Sometimes they just need it, and you need to. Find the most unique or authentic sounds in your library, so I'll, I know where my go-to string sounds are, um, and how to build and make it sound like an orchestra before I get to an orchestra. That's the goal: is to have an orchestra. That's like literally like to see people at the Hollywood Bowl pull up with their whole team of musicians. That's the goal: like to be like, hey, I got I got a whole group of people that I pay that record with me but yeah but until then you gotta learn how to how it's done so that's why i try to do myself i try not to limit myself to wait for something like oh, i need to have an orchestra to make string sounds like ah i got a vst <laughs> i'm gonna make it sound unique and authentic as much as i can until i get the, the string player so i like i sample like public enemy and day lot so i feel you on that um i i i i'm into it i love the way it sounds and then you can put it on soundcloud but yeah for me personally i enjoy figuring out how i can do that but no one like being to do it like by making money because like if i release music with a bunch of biggie one shots on it like uh a bunch of red men <laughs> <laughs> um red man gonna hear the song one day i, I mean how can i not want one red man to listen to my music he gonna listen to it like, what the fuck where's my voltage check where's my why's my voice why are my vocals all up on your shit <laughs> like uh, i was gonna hit you up because people there's people literally taking freestyles and i don't know if it's true or not i can't assume there's People taking freestyles of rappers and then putting it in their own beats and publishing it on streaming services. And I'm just like, I don't know if you got permission. 
but don't you don't you want that person to hear your stuff and if they hear it they're gonna be pissed off and be like what the fuck all right why are... anyways so just be careful mindful what you do be intentional if you want to just have fun make beats do it there's nothing wrong with that um me personally i enjoy doing everything with intention like even the beat that we just made the reason why i pulled out my phone is because i used a royalty free sample i didn't want to use vinyl i could have but then but this beat can be on the next ep or or release right so and i know what the sample is i know what the sample pack and what if red man's watching this right now he's like yo i want that beat I know exactly where it came from. He can use it. I can get clearance. people been sp404 been collecting dust but you need to update it you need to update it get the, get the, get the update baby um i'm pretty i'm pretty i'm wrapping my head around this new workflow i'm, I'm enjoying it dbic is actually right here on my screen so shout out to dbic for the inspiration he should really get like a national day dedicated of him to 404 day he is the goat of the 404 if it wasn't for him playing if you want, you go. Hey, boom, 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 boom. Grab a seat, grab a glass. At the down, grab your ass. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> shout out to DBIC, Mind Design, Boiler Room, everybody in the in the game. Um, this weekend, um, I'm gonna be doing. A little live set at this downtown gallery art gallery um lena fornia will be there she'll be playing some of her music or djing but there's going to be some art stuff you're going to be able to doodle um i'm going to post that on my story in a few minutes but i'm going to probably head out so i could go i'm going to go to a um, mixing workshop with um an amazing engineer for James Font the Boys name is Dylan. I'm gonna check that out. Fifteen hundred Sound Academy. Probably gonna go to make sure that everything's good for tomorrow stuff and then do some other stuff later on tonight. But I wanted to come on here and really like start my day off with beats. And um like DB actually got me always got me inspired and I hope this inspires you guys to to update if you don't have the SP404, make sure you grab it. It's only $4.99. The link is in the bio. Roland is listening to the streets. They keep getting better and better. Um, we got Kazakhstan in the house. Hey. Appreciate you coming through. 
um dj heavy j appreciate it appreciate you coming through uh, uh darrell williams from the bronx um we're gonna make our bodega beats beat tape so we can have this um, i was thinking about your order man the, the ox the oxtail patties that's a real new york order if if jennifer lopez came through man when i go to the bodega i give me an oxtail patty on a um you know with a oh she would have been oh we would have been we would have been like yeah you from the block but you not so um she uh thanks for coming through i love you guys make sure you guys check out microwave beats if you haven't thanks for listening if you have listened to it um i'll be back next friday i'm gonna wrap my head around this koala thing and really see if this is something i could really like commit to i like it i like i'm enjoying it a lot of people have been telling me a lot about koala and i've been like avoiding it i'm like shut up your ipad <laughs> and then people are like but but mad lip makes pizza this ipad shut up i didn't i don't i didn't want to know that <laughs> he makes all his beats on his ipad <laughs> he does oh oxtail beef patty with the coca bread that's definitely a new york boat they get order well that's that's it for me today i'm gonna go ahead and get my butt on the road and be back next week i love you guys until next time this is microwave beats with sarah the instrumentalist